A German porn star by the name of Sexy Cora Berger is dead after her sixth breast enlargement surgery went awry. <sighs> when will these girls learn they don't have to get these breast enlargements just to please men? Okay, well, I hope they never learn that, but God, it's so sad. This should be a lesson to all of you out there considering breast enlargement. Don't get six breast enlargements, just get really big tits the first time. Because if you're considering it once, you know you're going to go back for more. Just go with the big tits to begin with. Uh, Cora's husband said in an interview, The doctors told me she wouldn't make it. The brain damage was just too big. Yeah, <laughs> that's not all that was too big. <laughs> but seriously. It's not funny when anyone dies, and it's important to remember that Cora died the way she lived. With really big tits. <sighs> so yesterday was the State of the Union address given by the President before the Congress and the Senate and everyone else on the fucking planet. I don't know why we do this every year. What does the President really know about the State of the Union? He's cooped up on the White House most of the year, and when he's not there, he's on some luxurious vacation somewhere. How is that guy supposed to know anything about the State of the Union? If you want to know about the State of the Union, walk outside, look around, talk to people. It sucks. Obama said he wants to focus on education, he wants to focus on jobs, he wants to spend a lot of money and then not spend a lot of money and control the deficit somehow. Not really too congruent there. It sounds like he's trying to appease everybody, which is a good way to not make much fucking sense. And it's also a good way to say nothing really controversial. He didn't bring up anything really partisan. There was no talk of gun control. There was no talk about climate change. There was none of that. There was none of the big progressive talking points that people on the left really wanted to hear about. America stroking its own dick. Like, yes, we're incredible. Yes, we're amazing. We're the greatest country ever. We're always going to be the best country ever because that's America. That's our destiny. We're so wonderful. Just on and on and on, because you know that's what Americans want to hear, and if you tell them anything different, you'll get booed and hissed, even though you might be telling them the truth. The GOP response was made by a guy named Paul Ryan, who I've never heard of. I don't ever like people who have two first names, though. If you got two first names, you're a bad person. And you could quote me on that. And just like it doesn't really matter who does the State of the Union, whether they're Democrat or Republican, it's always some feel-good bullshit, the response from the other party is always some feel-bad bullshit. And this year's no exception. Paul Ryan just sat there and basically said, all of our problems are due to Obama. Goddamn Obama. He just doesn't know what he's doing. He's evil. He's malicious. Since taking office, President Obama has signed into law spending increases of nearly 25% for domestic government agencies. He's malevolent. He's stupid. Then the president and his party made matters even worse by creating a new open-ended health care entitlement. You gotta elect us. We'll fix everything. Even though when we were in charge with George W. Bush, we ruined everything. But yeah, now we're gonna fix everything. But there were two responses to the State of the Union this year. Aside from the official Republican response, there was a Bullshit, not really official, Michelle Bachman response. And she gave her entire speech looking in this direction. Not seeming to know that the camera was here. She's looking over here somewhere. I can only extrapolate there must have been like a guy in a purple monkey suit with a giant 12 inch dong strapped around his waist dancing around. You know, and that was the only way she could look. I mean, there's no way you can look at this when that's going on over there. Also, and I know this is really petty and I usually don't make fun of politicians' appearances because I hate how in America that's something that's okay and acceptable to do. I didn't like how in 2004 it was okay to be like, oh, John Kerry's hair's weird, you know, fuck you. But when I look at Michelle Bachman's neck, it just makes me really uncomfortable. Can we get a close-up of her neck?
One thing that Ryan and Bachman's speeches had in common was that they both evoked the failed stimulus. The Republicans, uh, they like that term, failed stimulus. The failed stimulus, the president's failed stimulus. And it's pretty safe for them to say that because according to Gallup polls, most Americans agree with them. The stimulus failed. But, you know, reality isn't based on consensus. It's based on... Well, reality. Here's the reality. After the stimulus passed, GDP went up, the rate of unemployment slowed, and the stock market went up too. So, you could say the stimulus was too little too late, that it didn't go far enough, that there were other ways, but you can't really say that it failed. Well, you can, but you'd be a liar. So, this restaurant in Arizona was planning on serving lion tacos. Eight dollars and you could eat a lion taco made with real lion. I didn't even know that was legal. I was really excited. I'm like, I want to go to Arizona and eat a lion, but now they're not going to do it because they got a bunch of death threats. I mean, it doesn't surprise me. You know, you're eating Simba from the Lion King. I just can't wait to be eaten by fat Americans with too much money on their hands. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm really sad now. You know, if you're not going to protest the cow being killed to make the taco, although it just occurred to me that Taco Bell is being sued right now because their beef isn't actually beef. It's like a little bit of beef and a bunch of soy and a bunch of like phosphates and chemicals and shit. So our beef isn't really beef, but our lion is really lion. So that's good. But um, yeah, I lost my train of thought, but that's pretty funny to me. <laughs> it's not